So, we just arrived in, just arrived in Memphis from Lexington, Kentucky. And we came in and we must have hit a big bump. This foot punched a hole in the floor and caused a disaster, so. These were from my childhood, and I used to have these all the time. Uh, and the kids have <laughs> tried them before, but they're excited to try them again. So we're gonna try some more heads. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, you guys got your flavors? Pink yeah. and blue. Um, which one? Mine you is can't watermelon. have any yet. I'm sorry, you're gonna be really mad. Mine is watermelon. I'm gonna have lemon, because lemon is the best flavor. And Lewis is a blue Okay, do you guys need me help opening them? Nope. I don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got it. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Evie? Sour. Mm-hmm. blue. Okay. Mm. What do you think? Mom back. So, I was just going to forget to record the adventure because I often do forget to record the adventure. I uh, said, ah, I'll start recording right away. So, yes, this is our reaction to a hole punch in the floor. Hmm, not happy about that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, happy not about happy that. Yeah, not happy about that. How do we fix it? So, I think what I'll probably do is I can either I think what I'll do for for a temporary fix is probably put a, a thin piece of plywood over the top here because this is an area that it won't get noticed and um, there is like a little bit of air coming in here, just a little bit of cold air. So I'll probably put a little piece of plywood here and just screw it in from the top. Van found some puzzle pieces. What do you think about that hole, Van? Go look at it. Go look at that hole. Is that your puzzle piece dropping hole? I see some wood. Here's the uh, pieces of sub floor. Whoa. What do you think about that, Evie? Not good. Not good. I hate it. Ah! We also have to repair the end of the couch here. That kind of came unstapled, so we're just going to put a screw through it here. And I have a helper. A good helper. One little screw right there should hold it all together much better. So, you know, Ikea furniture, what you going to do? Thanks for helping. Hannah made a southern feast of barbecue chicken southern green beans, and macaroni and cheese. So, not everything is horrible with the, uh, you know, holes in the floor and whatnot. We got a little bit of a fire going in our fake fireplace, and I'm gonna have to go out to Lowe's and get a repair board to fix it up for now. It's the morning. My solution, temporary, is to just put a piece of plywood here and then we can fix it later on. The kids are really interested in tossing out and saying about nailing some big fish. There are some really big ones in here, so.
fun. What did you see? A jump fly on hold. Something's coming for my Oh uh, yeah, do you see that little I got the kids all set up. <laughs> and now they're out there. Trying to catch a fish. Evie, as soon as I went inside, immediately reeled in her line. Nice, good cast. There, from what I understand, there's a lot of big fish in this lake, and they really protect it and don't let people fish here, um, except for people who are camping, so it's kind of cool. So one thing we've learned about Sonny is that he loves a good view of the water. Yeah. You want to go see him? All right, come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? He likes to stand up there and watch. Oh, are you grumpy? It's okay. did not catch anything today. Um, this is a really not that great of an RV park. But we're on our way out to Texarkana to one of our stopover RV parks that we've been to before, so we're excited to see that. There's our first big RV stop. Six months ago. You wanna go to it again? And this bridge was closed. You guys ready to go to Arkansas? truck stop. <laughs> this is what nursing looks like a lot now. This is so pretty. We're at a gas station and uh, we need to get some diesel. And Hannah said, I think you need to check the couch and make sure it didn't fall through the floor. Well, I put that piece of plywood there. Guess what? The piece of plywood didn't work. So now we've got another situation. Problem being that it went through the of plywood and I thought I got a thick enough piece of plywood apparently I did not so now I gotta saw that plywood and uh, try to get it to, to fix that. I think I need to get saucers for the legs that will give it a, a little bit more of a area. Are you being a goofball? Are you trying to take your first step? Uh, finally ready to go get our inspection. Um, we've just been having so many issues getting this RV to the actual inspector, getting the paperwork into Texas, and getting finally moved down here. So now we're going to go take it over to the inspector and see what happens. Hopefully we get approved. So when we got here, they were like, uh, man, we can't fit that into our building. Um, you guys are like going to have to go somewhere else. And I was like, well, you can't bring like your equipment out of here or whatnot for the like it doesn't have any emissions this is just the trailer and they're like oh no like uh i thought you wanted an oil change and you wanted to bring your entire rig through the building it's not gonna happen that's their building there so we would have not been able to get the entire rig through other than that we actually did pass everything is good i don't think it's very hard to pass because there's like nothing on there to really do but we're done
walking down the beach here, Crystal Beach, Texas, trying to find mom and the kids. I got the baby. I got the baby. Crazy day. I went and got my license. We got our registration, or we got our inspection done for the RV. And now we're out getting a little bit of beach time before we go home and make some dinner. But I'm tired. It was a long day. The van was really crabby for almost the entire day. But we get this beautiful, beautiful sunset. So nice.